Well, hello everyone. This is Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. And today is February 22nd, 2020. We're in Bluffton in Rose Hill, the gated equestrian community out on Route 278, also known as Fording Island Road in Bluffton. And I'm sure you've driven past Rose Hill many times if you've vacationed on Hilton Head Island because you have to drive right by it on your way through Bluffton to Hilton Head Island. Well, we're here today to see this brand new home, 233 Club Gate, that is, um, has four bedrooms, three bathrooms, three bedrooms downstairs and one upstairs. The house has 2,392 square feet and it's listed with Berkshire Hathaway, Bay Street Realty Group in Buford. I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent with 43 years of Hilton Head Island and Bluffton real estate experience. We're going to walk through this house, see if it could possibly be for you. An awful lot of my buyers are looking for homes in this price range. The price of this new house being $425,000. Has a two car garage, a screen porch out back, very attractive curbside appearance. Hardy plank exterior. Before we go in, I'd like to take you over and show you a quick look at the community clubhouse, the tennis courts, the swimming pool. We'll talk a bit about these amenities and what your annual HOA purchases for you, which in 2020 is $2,300 per year. Let's go take a look. Rose Hill is a gated community with two 24 manned security gates. This is the gate to the golf side on one side of Main Highway 278 and just across the intersection is a second 24 hour manned security gate to the equestrian side of Rose Hill. The Rose Hill Clubhouse is new and has the Oak Terrace restaurant. We're going to go inside and take a look. There's a big screen porch out back overlooking the driving range. And this is also where the Golf Pro Shop is for the 18-hole championship golf course, which is open to the public but owned by the owners. Well, let's go in and take a look. The Rose Hill Clubhouse serves lunch every day from 10 till close. Dinner, Wednesday through Saturday, they serve Sunday brunch. They have appetizers all day long and a happy hour every day between 4 and 6. Well, right now they're getting ready for a Saturday night event with live music. Off to the right, there's a dining room for private events, private dining that they call the library. Now this whole clubhouse is new just within the last year. And is also the turning point on the golf course for the golfers. Beautiful screen porch out back. Let's just step out back and take a look at that. Beautiful day today, and this is of course in the middle of the winter. This is the driving range. There's also a couple of par four holes. Off to the left, there's one that goes out, and then off to the right, there's one that comes back. These are what are called practice holes. It's available to the owners at no charge. And when you come and play golf here at Rose Hill, you can also warm up, if you wish, by playing those two holes at no extra cost. Something which is unique to this area. Very attractive clubhouse and porch. The Rose Hill Clubhouse. Was that like the same 
say the hockey bones back there. It's just, they, they just didn't want to do one fish all the time. And of course, this is where the golf pro shop is located. We'll just poke our nose in there real quick. And of course, they have a full offering of lessons and clinics. Just across the parking lot from the Rose Hill Clubhouse is the tennis club of the Low Country. Now, this tennis club, which has first-rate courts and a first-rate teaching program, is actually by separate membership. It's not uh, owned by the Rose Hill owners or part of your annual Rose Hill HOA. It has separate membership. And a quick story, the uh, various communities out here in Bluffton would have different services come in to take care of their courts and to teach uh, by appointment. But in any one community, there weren't necessarily that many tennis players. So some of the men that were doing those programs decided, why don't we just have a central tennis club here, tennis club of the low country, where all the people from the surrounding communities can come and get the best instruction and have the best competition and sure enough that's what they've done. Now at the same time here within Rose Hill the owners do have two hard true tennis courts and a hard court the hard court being over on the equestrian side and then the two hard true courts being over here on the golf side and where the uh, community swimming pool is all also lo located. So let's go take a look at those right now. Here is the Rose Hill Community Swimming Pool. It's on the golf course side. Not surprising that no one's here in the middle of the winter time. But it is a real nice pool immediately next to this pavilion with restrooms and some azaleas which are confused since it's uh, the nature of winter these days. It gets warm, they bloom, it gets a little cooler, they stop blooming. I understand that's happening all over. You have a real nice porch here. Also a park where they've added two bocce courts. I've read they also have two pickleball courts now, although I haven't seen them. I'm sure I'll find them and put them into a video eventually. But here's all the amenities for Rose Hill. In addition to the clubhouse and the 18-hole golf course. There's also a walking park, which used to be one of three nine-hole courses. When the owners bought the golf course, they turned one of the nine holes into a linear park, a walking park, the Bill Baker Park. And you'll see owners out jogging and walking through the community on those nine holes that are maintained as a park and not as a golf course. Uh, we also have across the highway in the equestrian side, Colleton Point Landing, which is a boat launch into the Colleton River, also where you can keep your kayaks, and where they also have a clubhouse and meeting room. And these are the two hard true tennis courts, which if you're not familiar with tennis is the country club style of play, if you will. It's a slower game, easier on your feet. Some people call it clay court tennis, but it's really a crushed stone or soft courts as opposed to hard courts. There is another hard court on the equestrian side with a swimming pool over there. There is also another smaller swimming pool over near the Clubgate neighborhood of this side, the golf course side. Well, we're back now at 233 Clubgate, and before we walk through this house, let's just take a quick look around the neighborhood. Uh, Clubgate Drive forms a loop, which is to say it has no through traffic. It comes up and just turns around. Very quiet street, quiet neighborhood. Many of the buyers that I work with are looking for mature trees. They respond to the mature trees, and well, 
Rose Hill has them, as you can see for yourself. Well, again, my name, Richard Kadish, K-A-D-E-S-C-H. I'm the owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, like gated communities. I'm the gated community specialist, ladies and gentlemen, and both Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialist are federally registered trademarks. Well, I'm looking forward to showing you this house. So many of my buyers are looking for homes in and around this price, 425 in a luxury community with great amenities like Rose Hill. Well, we have the hardy plank exterior. We have the covered porch elevation with some stone fronting and two car garage with some handsome carriage lights. The door is recessed and out of the weather. I certainly like that. Let's go in and take a look. The foyer hallway takes us from the entrance door right past our second and third bedrooms to the left to the living area straight away and we have a attractive wood floor which in this area by the way is engineered wood. It's glued down most commonly to the concrete slab below and the fact that this house is on slab tells us that we have high ground here. Floodplain C, optional flood insurance. It's a question I get from many buyers. We also have some handsome wainscoting here in the foyer which guides us along through this foyer hallway, you're going to see that this house has a lot of handsome crown molding and very good finishes. Very good finishes for a home in this price range. Here's our second and third bedrooms on this left side. And these are wired up for ceiling fan light fixtures. So this is all natural light coming in here late in the afternoon on February 22nd. And the front bedroom has a transom window bringing in just that much more light. And some of your window coverings are already here as you can see. Good size room. And in between we have our, call it our second bathroom because we have a private master bathroom up, uh, on the first floor. And then we have a fourth bedroom upstairs that also has a, a bathroom. Well, this is good high quality, folks. Not only do we have a granite top with an undermount porcelain sink, brush nickel, hardware where we've got the framed mirror. We have a high window bringing in light but giving privacy. Fiberglass tub and shower and a tiled floor. Handsome looking cabinets. We're going to see more of those in the kitchen. Now off to our right is the garage. We'll just catch that on the way out. Here is the stairway to the second floor. We'll We'll go up there after we finish the first. On our way down the hallway, we have a coat closet. And we value our closet space, my friends, because here in South Carolina Low Country, we don't have basements. We store things in garages, closets, and in attics. All right, so here is our contemporary open floor plan with no wasted space. Our living room over here is a good sized room, good sized room, without a fireplace, which is optional in this climate. If you build a house, well, you can always choose the fireplace option. Many of my buyers don't. But you see your open floor plan has the living room open to the kitchen with the big one level. In this case, a peninsula works well in this floor plan. Many of them are islands these days. And our single dining area over here looking good. Again, transom windows all around. 
And I can't help but point out with the woodworking, the high baseboard. You know, rich woodworking really makes a house just as warm as it can possibly be. And when it's done right as it is here, well, it's the kind of thing you want to have. Let's go in this kitchen and take a closer look. The wood comes right on through. They've done a great job with these combination of materials. Great cabinets. They have the soft close feature on the doors and the uh, drawers. Definitely an upgraded granite. Very stylish. Backsplash. And these appliances are Whirlpool and they look like they are what is called the graphite finish. Uh, I don't think it's the stainless steel that hides the fingerprints. I think it's the graphite. And we have a ceramic top on the electric range. We have a double fridge over here with the indoor dispenser, which is what you want for convenience and energy savings. You don't want to be opening that door all the time. Here is your laundry room. You'll provide your own washer and dryer. And your cupboard or pantry is right here through some double doors. Notice that the entire house has wood panel doors and the finishes look very good. Very good. The uh, sink is the single piece stainless basin, swan neck faucet, and the um, dishwasher, by the way, has the stainless steel bin, which you like to look for on these open floor plans because they are more, they have lower decibels, less noise. All in all, a handsome floor plan, a practical floor plan in a luxury house at an economical price. Here's the primary bedroom at the back with a ceiling fan light fixture. Now both of those first and second bedrooms were wired for the fan and the light fixture, but it just wasn't hung. Again, a trio of windows with a transom. Looking good. Maximizing the natural light that comes in. And in the primary bedroom, we have the primary bathroom. With granite, undermount porcelain sinks. Brush nickel hardware, framed mirrors. That's a popular combination, my friends. Look at all of these drawers and doors. Tile floor with some stylish rectangular ceramic pieces. And get a load of this. Shower. Oh yes, oh yes. With a frameless enclosure, beautiful shower, tile work, looking great with an accent strip, a wand, a little bench or step here to the side, lovely curb, they've added in the granite for that. At the back we have our walk-in closet, which is for him and for her. I would uh, add shelving to increase your storage space. Here is your linen closet and behind me is your commode which is in what is sometimes called the water closet an attractive bathroom in this four hundred and twenty five thousand dollar house this is the type of floor plan that so many of my retirement buyers are looking for everything on one floor although it's okay to have a second floor with an extra room, why not? You don't have to go up there, but if you're young enough, sure, why not? It gives you a greater separation of space. We'll go up there right now and take a look. And of course, this house isn't just for retirement buyers. This house could be for uh, starter families, starter couples. Rose Hill is an upscale community. Let's go up. Let's go up the stairs and check it out. So this is a large second floor bedroom. 
It goes all the way from the top of the stairs to the back where you see that duo of windows there. You have a closed closet here to the left and the private bathroom has good quality tile floor, the same type of cabinets we saw in the kitchen and the other bathrooms, the stainless sink, and the, un, the excuse me, and the fiberglass tub and shower looking good. This is your private bathroom for this second floor, fourth bedroom. This is a good space up here for just about all the furniture you would possibly want. Looking off into the mature trees. Your neighbor has a fenced yard and so can you. Many of my dog owners and some people who don't have dogs want to have fenced yards and why not? It's a good idea. Well, one of the things about this second floor bedroom is that it also allows and the builder has provided a second floor entrance to your storage area and that my friends is superior to a hatch where you drag over a, a, uh, a ladder to get through for your mechanical access or storage perhaps over the garage. It's superior to a drop down stairway and this is one where you just walk right in and you can see the builder has provided some flooring for storage. It also gives you excellent mechanical access here to your air handler. In this climate we have heat pumps and air handlers. And your hot water heater is in the garage. And here we are in the garage. I meant to tell you while we were up in that attic that you have the blown insulation into your ceiling with an R30. In the garage here we have the automatic door opener which is pretty standard in homes these days. Your whole water cutoff is over here. It's a good safety feature so if you do want to turn your water off while you travel you don't have to go out and look for that in your front yard or if you ever have a water leak. The uh, wood OSB panels there are your wind shutters or hurricane shutters. In this area we do have uh, Dade, um, Dade County hurricane codes. Uh, you'll probably never deploy those my friends though because we're far enough from the ocean here that we just don't get the big storms that you get right along the coast. Hilton Head Island itself being the best place to avoid a storm if you're anywhere near the coast in the entire southeast US. Bluffton even better. Once you cross that bridge onto the mainland, you're farther away from any storms that come up the coast. And then that room to the right there, well that's just a storage room. And again, we like all the storage that we can get. This is a finished garage, painted the same paint as the interior of the house, which is kind of an agreeable gray. Sheetrocked and finished off a good looking garage. And we don't want to miss the back screen porch just off of the dining area through the sliding glass door and the transom window above. We have an oversized screen porch where it's very quiet here in the woods and also a patio just outside which I personally like. I like to step outside my screen porch onto a patio and of course these screen porches allow us to enjoy the semi-tropical climate that we have here in the South Carolina low country 12 months a year. It's a common question that I get. What about those bugs? Well, they're really not much of a concern frankly, but having a screen porch makes them no concern at all. Well, thank you for walking through this home today at 233 Club Gate in Rose Hill. Uh, 425,000 when you consider that the average home in Rose Hill today is 638,975 and that's even after removing from the list the highest priced home here which is 6.5 million 
the second highest price being one point one nine five million. Both of those houses are across the highway in the equestrian side, as I said before. This is the golf side of the community, but they all share and enjoy the same amenities and all in all, a really smart looking house at a great price. I would invite you to call me or email about your real estate interests and it's possible that you'll respond to this video when this house is already sold. So we would talk about what else is available, possibly building one for you. And as a buyer's agent, I help my clients in every way. Again, I have 43 years of local Hilton Head and Bluffton real estate experience. We compare builders. I am a former licensed South Carolina home builder. We compare builders. We compare communities, new homes to resales, we compare prices and we talk about what's important to you. I don't represent this builder. I don't represent the listing agency. I represent you, the buyer, with the right agreement, of course, which is so easy to do because I'm only paid at closing if you buy and when you close by the commission that is already in the price of this home and every listed home and new build. I'll be happy to answer any and all of your questions about agency and whatever's important to you in this area. Uh, the amenities, medical, schools, there's so much to talk about. I look forward to hearing from you. Let's get acquainted and find the right home and community for you. Now here's how you can reach me. My cell number, 843-684-2933. And my email address, rich at gogated.com. My website, gogated.com. So I know you'll find me if you want to, and I hope you do, because I'd like to work with you as your buyer's agent here in Bluffton, Hilton Head Island, the South Carolina Low Country, in which I'm active. And so I look forward to hearing from you. And by the way, if you like this video, there are more at the Go Gated channel on YouTube. So please subscribe. And thanks again for watching.